The Military Maxims of Napoleon, compiled by General Bernard I. The frontiers of nations are either large rivers or chains of mountains or deserts. Of all these obstacles to the march of an army, deserts are the most difficult to surmount. Mountains come next, and large rivers hold only the third rank. To a plan of campaign should anticipate everything which the enemy can do, and contain within itself the means of thwarting him. Plans of campaign may be infinitely modified according to the circumstances, the genius of the commander, the quality of the troops, and the topography of the theater of war. 3. An army invading a country may either have its two wings resting on neutral countries or on great natural obstacles, such as rivers or chains of mountains, or it may have only one of its wings thus supported, or both may be without support. In the first case, a general has only to see that his line is not broken in front. In the second case, he must rest on the wing which is supported. In the third case, he must keep his different corps resting well on his center, and never allow them to separate from it. For if it is a disadvantage to have two flanks in the air, the inconvenience is doubled if there are four, tripled if there are six. That is to say, if an army is divided into two or three distinct corps, the line of operations in the first case may rest on the left or the right wing indifferently. In the second case, it should rest on the wing which is supported. In the third case, it should fall perpendicularly on the middle of the line formed by the army in marching. But in all the cases above mentioned, it is necessary to have at every five or six days march a fort or entrenched position where magazines of provisions and military stores may be established and convoys organized, and which may serve as a center of motion and a point of supply, and thus shorten the line of operations. 4. It may be laid down as a principle that in invading a country with two or three armies, each of which has its own distinct line of operations, extending towards a fixed point at which all are to unite, the union of the different corps should never be ordered to take place in the vicinity of the enemy, as by concentrating his forces he max not only prevent their junction, but also defeat them one by one.